Mama magnified. Mama magnified. Hi guys. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay. Yes. We on. We alive. We're doing this. Well sought after video. I'm here with this baby girl. Are you ready? We just we're shooting a friendship video, guys. Many of you in English have asked about her with a few questions. We got a mix up of questions, so we're just gonna shoot a very fun, interactive video to get to know us, to get to know me, to get to know her. I help you, that way. Friend, what's happening? <laughs> are you are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. Are you not happy to do this? No, not why I'm not happy, but he... Jack rolled. No, I'm just... Like, I'm not in the... Public eye. If that makes sense. I'm also not in the public eye. We're not in the public eye. Which one is that one? No, are we? <laughs> I'm just social media in public eye. Yeah, but I'm not, like, I'm not as... Like now, so no. what does what what does that change or what does that mean? No, it doesn't change anything. Okay. It's just like I'm like you would be more comfortable being in front of the camera. You're more comfortable oh. being in front of the camera than I am. Yes. Right on. But you're my person. So that's why you are a thing. Do you and get that? Yes, and that's okay. Okay. It's gonna be very informal. First question, the most common one, is when and how did we meet? And I'm honestly going to give this one to her, especially the when part, because... Friend, when did we meet? Do you know the year? Yeah, I don't know the year. Now, okay, how old were we? Like a disclaimer, and you know this. Yeah. I think a disclaimer to everybody. Yeah. I, I generally don't have a good, the best memory. So I'm not... Like, and it might seem weird to different people yeah. or to certain people, but I'm not a like years person. Got 2016, so got 2020. So, I remember the very first time I met you was at my cousin's house. Mm. Yes, it was like a lunch or get together, and I was, yeah, that's how I was introduced to you. But that, do we have okay? So maybe to give context, ne? Yeah. Like right now, maybe age doesn't matter, but just so that people have a better idea of when, like where we time. are in our lives now and how far back. How how do we play like, like that? Because we are like when in I early thirties yeah. right now. Give me my early pair. Yeah, thirty-five. Early thirties. Thirty-five. She's way younger than me. Okay. Thirty-five. Give me. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like but I'm so happy that you're 35 guys. <laughs> it's the new. But it was 16. in our twenties. I can say was mid. Was it in our twenties? Yes, mid twenties. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's fair enough. My mid twenties were now. We were working. 100 years old. Ah, uh, <laughs> elephant. <laughs> so it was mid twenties, friend. Yes. Okay, that's fair enough. Right on. Mid twenties, we met at your cousin's house. Mm -hmm. Question answered. Why do you think we get along so well? So I'll answer your answer. Okay. Should I go first? Because you took the last one first. So I think we get along because we, firstly, we are both, I think we're both very level headed. Or we are both, our values are China. This one is not all level headed, but yeah. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that could be true. Okay, wait. Our values and our, even to our foundation, right? Our values are China. It's similar to, whether it's romantic relationships, friendships, or family values, you know, you most times you get along with people where your values are the same. Because even if you have disagreement about other fluffy things, if your foundation and your values yeah. are the same, then you like yeah, you polarize towards each other. So to answer the question, what was the question? Like, why do I think we get yeah. along so well? That is my answer, honestly, because our values, our core values, are the yeah. same, are like, identical. You and I are completely different. Very. We're very different people. Um, we like different <laughs> things, and we do things differently. But I think it's our differences that, weirdly, like it's our differences that bring us together. But mm. like you said, it's like the core 
Legends, like even when we started going to church together back then, yeah. when we were called Grace, started going to church together, serving together and all of that. Yeah. Like that core foundation where uh, principles and values are the same. Yeah, that's uh, true. So it doesn't matter about the other things, like what somebody likes doing. No. Eventually, um, even if, it, 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 okay, cool, if you want us to do this, we'll yeah. do it. Because it makes you happy. Not that I don't enjoy it. I won't enjoy it as much as you do. Yeah. We'll do it anyway. You, some, there's certain things that you don't enjoy as much as I do, but we'll do yeah. anyway because it makes me happy. But like what makes us give up, we, I guess it's, Core values and embracing our differences and yeah. celebrating those differences yeah. in different things that we do. Yeah. And I think the next question is quite like similar, so I'll just roll into that. It, it says, name three things that we completely 100% agree on. And it's similar to what you, you just shared. Yeah. You know, we, we are very intentional about embracing the real. So I embrace the real, but she embraces the real me. But in the same light, it's also that um, celebrating everything. But with life, there's a balance. It's not just celebrating, right? Catching each other when we fall in different seasons of our life. I think that's how I could sort of answer that. Three things we completely agree on. And I think we also agree on that everybody's an individual in their own right. Mm. Um, yeah. And doing things differently. Like I think the first first thing mm. is, is that there's like a like a no compromise or no brainer. Mm. Um, I don't want to like classify it as religion, but Christianity, like that's yeah. the first thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like we What are we doing now? Yeah, we're like going the line on. Yeah. And then it's just like embracing differences and we're always it's crazy, like if you're not feeling the best. It, we don't have to talk about it. Yeah. I can feel that she's not at the best. Yeah. And I'll reach like I'll reach out. Yeah. I mean I'm not at my best. Even though like we can talk we talk every day. Yeah. So even if you're not at your best and we're just talking as per normal. Yeah. The way we should respond or I'll tell that this energy. Not okay. Yeah. So energy like our energies are very in sync. In sync. Yeah. Yes. In so, sync. Which yeah. is crazy, but yeah. So mates are not only romantic partners, you guys. Um what is your most embarrassing childhood memory? <laughs> <laughs> I need to think. I need to think. I can think of one, top of head, just so that you're not thinking for like okay. 10 years. I think childhood, I do, I guess in our primary school, I'm faint. I go to high school. Is that, are we still children in high school? No, right? Yes, yeah, childhood. So I think I had really, really like, I was I was part of, is it crew? Maybe I'm skim, skim king, mm, I used that yeah. one. Like I was part of like a group of friends who were, who are really beautiful, and I say this intentionally because kind of get everyone's like, oh, guys, that growing up phase where you're just like, ooh, I'm not so pretty, yeah, really pretty. Like that yourself. stop that thing, mm-hmm. okay? If you're watching this and you're 20 years old, you are pretty, but that's not the point. But really, like, it was really embarrassing to always just be that girl away. But she might have a shell, like, I was the last to be picked. Yeah. I'm talking high school, yeah, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I can think of anything primary school. I don't know if that's embarrassing with sad with what, but it was embarrassing to be like, I almost always programmed myself for it. Ah, anyway, can't say that way. It's either I'll be the last to pick, if even. Yeah. You know, because then obviously for me in my head it was just like everyone else is prettier than me. But it was embarrassing because small things like you know, never exam people or Valentine's Ball or anything where everyone needed a date, now everyone's picking and then now I don't have a date because no one in our age group or our grade picked me. Now I stick out like a sultan because I really don't have a date. I think that was embarrassing. I could classify that as embarrassing. But like like, uh, like uh, for me that's like it's it, it, I feel like it's an emotion or it's a yeah. feeling that you all feel like when you're growing up, where you just feel like you're not this enough, you're not. Yeah. I feel like for you, it could have been, you're, you're too tall. Whereas for me, I'm too short. Like, you can never be perfect. You can yeah. never be, you can never be. <laughs> it's either you're too tall, or you're too short, or you're too small, or you're too skinny, or you're too, too this. You're yeah. always too something. And it's only now, like, obviously now that you be, are oh, as well, I, it, this is completely like, okay. but, <laughs> but I can, I, I can always, like, I can relate to that because I always felt like, oh, the smallest. So, being the smallest. In, in, in body, body. Yes, okay. you're always just like, People don't see your, your 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 speed. They don't see your height. They don't see your. So it's always just like yes. Yeah, so it's always just there's always something. So uh, for you were tall. You've always been tall. Yeah. Not you were. No. You've always been tall. So when they say yeah, you're tall, you're tall. 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 You're you are tall you are you are more than enough Period. and you are never too anything you are never too dark you are never too beautiful you are never too pretty you are never too wide you are yeah. never too short you are never too tall you are more than enough yeah. and whether it's friends whether it's a partner whether it's a husband whatever it is whatever relation the right person yeah. will always be more than enough and over and above exceeding expectations for the right person yeah. most embarrassing childhood memory I don't know I've had so many like, many? Yeah, I you think, remember? yeah like when I was younger I was um, I feel like I I was prone to, I don't, like I have an older sister, so. Um, That'd be a cool one. <laughs> it was always just like, um, I Did always, she embarrass you? Or what? Yeah, not, not embarrass me, but like, it was always like, yo, this is, offensive is somebody's older sister. So it's always just that thing. Like, oh. where you always 
whether it's in school or it's like you always it's not a bad thing but when you're living in somebody's shadow like even in school and like we chose the same subject oh, shadow. so it was always just like yo your sister did well in this you like, we were expected to excel in the same you know and um yeah i mean she was cool she was she was rebellious she was adventurous she was not once still is yeah. <laughs> so, so it's always just like yo we this is like oh, you know you always you're coming already guys yeah. just to fit into this yes. box i don't know if that's embarrassing but did, did it feel embarrassing yeah like even in first, like your first classes when you like oh you make oh you introduced or whatever and then you give your name and surname and you look alike so it's always they, just like they, the they are laugh sounds are like guys the minute, the minute you say like, your name oh i know your sister or i know you know and oh, yeah also okay. even still now when you are out and about and people are just like they confuse us a lot so that's even still not that's not embarrassing but i just think that's what came to your mind yeah with all that yeah there's certain expectations and you're just like hmm okay <laughs> Okay, um, what do you love the most about yourself? Yo, okay, should I go first? Yeah. Um, mm, I can't. It's always, it's always easier to answer about someone else than yourself, right? Yeah, but I can never, like, I can never, like, it's not one thing, and I know it's like, but it's not one thing. But I love how I can be myself mm. in any situation, in yeah. any crowd, yeah. in any, um, like, whatever. Yeah. I, it doesn't matter where I am, it doesn't matter who I'm with. It doesn't matter if I've just met this person like five minutes ago. Yeah. I feel like I can always, be, like, I'm not afraid to be myself. Mm-hmm. If I think I need something, I think I need it And that's it, period. And if, if I, like, yeah, and if it's 10 o'clock and the group is still happening, I'm that girl. Or now it's 10 o'clock, I'll oh, get my fun, yeah. fine. And sometimes, you, like, you know, you'll get judged for that. Or But I'm, what I, what, yeah, I guess that's what stands out. I'm not yeah. afraid to speak my mind, be myself, and be consistent in being myself. No matter the situation or the yeah. crowd or whatever. That's true. Yeah. I think I also like it about myself, but maybe it's not like what is the next thing? It's top two, but not number two. Not number one. In this case, it's not number <laughs> one. <laughs> I think although it is a pro and a con, like when something can be your weakness but your strength, I love that I'm an empath. Like I feel very deeply for people. It can be so annoying, but <laughs> I think <laughs> I love it. Because you can be annoying, and I get it. Yeah, like sometimes you just like can you stop? Yeah. Can you just have boundaries? Mm-hmm. You know. And that's something I've only learned in my big age. Um, sometimes you just have conversations with yourself. You're like, man, you need to know where to draw the line. But I think that's why it's also important to have like people in your life that can help you bring yourself back towards, I'm going to say yourself, or just tell you the real truth. Because sometimes your real self, you, you're detrimental to yourself. Now mm-hmm. my benefit of the doubt, guys, I fail. Oh, mm-hmm. going, going, no. But I really do love that I have that heart that just really feels deeply for people. Because even in situations where I can see, oh, i got to draw the line, I just love that I never stop being considerate to yeah. other people. Um, Period. I'll end it there. But boundaries in everything, boundaries are important. Balance, boundaries, because but what happens like guys and they'll take advantage and that's also not good. But I found myself in situations where I want to change that part of myself because people have taken advantage and it was more painful to want to change that part of myself mm-hmm. than I realized okay, this yeah. is who I am. Let me have boundaries, manage the situation. And just like my husband like saying, he likes saying, I'm not saying stop being yourself, but let it not be to your detriment. So yeah. What is the one thing that you would like to change about yourself? So probably the flip side of things. Mm. What I want to change about myself, I think I've just answered mm. that. Really just exercising the existing boundaries. So at first I didn't even have those boundaries. Now I have them. Exercise my babes. I know when to say no, guys. When are you? I can't be a yes lady. Yeah. And what she's also taught me is that I'm not Jesus. He once said that to me. And I mean, it, it, it helps to hear the raw truth from people you trust and love. Because even if I'm in a situation and she's not there, all I hear is her voice. Listen, oh, you are not Jesus. Hello. You know, I can't take the world's problems or someone's 200 p- problems. No. You know, and I think that's what I would love to change about myself. Those boundaries of, I can't feel deeply for everyone and take their problems away. Although each day that's how I wake up feeling, okay, whose problems are gonna, am I going to help? Who am I going to make happy? Who am I going to, you know? Mm. No. Yeah, full stop. I think for me, it, like, I'm a softie. Yeah. As much as, like, it may softie not be softie. Softie decides. Yes, it may not and be softie, but I really the exterior is... And I put, like, I have a very a tough exterior. A tough yeah. exterior. Yeah, a tough exterior. But I really am a softie. And um, I think, Lina, it's easy for me to give that advice to you. Until you are like, man, follow your own advice, you know? Mm-hmm. But I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm really a softie, and I think just because of, like, how, not, I can't say, like, how I grew up in terms of, like, treatment or whatever, but, like, how I grew up, I was, I was always forced to be, because of my size, forced to be, like, don't be so, like, oh, you gotta work so I got to like, show like, you know. a softie. So, mm-hmm. it's just learning not to take everything so personal. Um, and, like, yeah. just, yeah, like, sometimes I'm just like, oh, so happy to also, <laughs> so sad <laughs> about that things that, is. Like, that people do or whatever yeah. but um i may put on a very tough exterior but i'm a softie but i'm always aware of that like i'm constantly aware of the fact that i know i'm a softie so 
I always have my guard up. Yeah. But think right. like one thing that like people close to me have told me is that mm-hmm. because I have my guard up, sometimes being a very guarded person, it makes it difficult for you to live completely yeah. free, free, carefree, and experience everything to its like yeah. to the fullest. Because yeah. you're always just like yo, what if? What if? You know? Yeah. So maybe just not being so guarded. I'm very yeah, guarded. So I think are. that's my first. You are. Yeah. I'm very really like. <laughs> okay. What is the one thing that you cannot live without? I don't know. I can answer that like because the obvious we, we all go God a thing, but mm-hmm. out of everything, I mean, there's a lot of things and people that I love. Yeah, God is not a thing, but that is the one entity if we could change the wording that I cannot do without because I feel like I said God, everything else under Him taken care of. I can say prayer, but that's prayer without God Himself. Mm-hmm. So that for me, yeah. God. I agree, one hundred percent. And then on a lighter note, the next question: What are the three items that you always carry? Can I answer for you? <laughs> Let's okay. do it like that. Ne? Okay, let's see. Keep right. Okay. So, oh okay, yes, guys, car keys, cell phone, lipstick. Okay. That they said three. It's okay. So okay. am I right for you? Who 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 has it? Like I don't know, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, should we know phone and 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 car keys out because the obvious? Ah no, it's it's okay. But I'm just like those are the, like why three? If it was ten. Yes. Fringe. That's that's how the question is. Because I'm a carrier. Like I'm. Like, you were holder. You just like I might need this that, and the other. I might need. My side plate that's in my house where I'm going, no friends, three. We can cookies? Not you think cookies? I'm I'm answering yeah. for you. We can cookies? Your phone? Oh, I'll Excuse me, and lipstick. Oh, okay, yes. So when I lip therapy. Yes. <laughs> Leave that lipstick. Lip phone therapy. Yes. Lip therapy because she's always out here snapping. Yeah. Phone, lip therapy, and her glasses. Because this girl cannot see. But glass friend, okay, I can't see yes. But two glasses oh, can't. I'm not, friend, I'm not carrying a sabonic. Okay, I'm with it. How so the glasses? Jay-Z. Uwaka said. My car, I got all the shades to be too cool for school. No, these ones. But I'm not carrying those. Those are, I feel like, a part of my body. Ah, uh, 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 just for in case. Then she ends up going to Friend, I feel like your answer's wrong. It's not wrong. It's wrong, friend, because I don't carry these. They on me. So when I leave the house, what am I carrying? I'm carrying these. They on me. They part of my body. I can't see. Okay, lift your feet. Said you're wrong. Ah, you're wrong, friend. Ah, never. Okay, start again. Can you go one on some kind of say? And I'm like, oh yeah, I do. Okay, guys. Okay, so can you tell us something? Let me explain. I do take all these too cool for school shades. Sitting there, what? Then I wear no shades for what? For the pictures, for the content. I kept immediately. What do I do immediately? Ah! Hey, okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Mom, what's gonna get out of here? Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, friend, I must walk out of the house. It's too cool for school. Exactly. So what's the point? So you can. What time do you wake up? Right on. What time do I wake up in the morning? Mm. And I think I saw her alarm the other, our first night of vacation. And then you said, "Who is it? I'm gonna wait. Mine was half past five. I think yours is five a.m. Ganga. What is it? It's not five. I think it's nine. It's five. Six a.m. What is it? And you wake up early. I know. No, that. I'm not talking about what. What? What's the question? What time do you get up in the morning? Give me a time. Don't. No my stories. My alarm is five thirty, but. What time do you get up? That is my dream. That's Which what one? I aspire. That's the time I aspire to. Oh. <laughs> but it is not so. What is but it? But it's so I can just like you know, kind of okay. Um, it's a new day. Yeah, um, I'm okay. But my alarm is at five thirty. But generally, I six. I'm a late. Don't give me late, give me a time, I'll make a matter of six. No. Half past six. Seven even. My girl. I did a live the office. So, so my answer's wrong. Yes, it's wrong. So what time do I get up in the morning? Before five. Five, if not before. Okay. Not before, half past five. Because I need to work out. But half past five. five. You get up before. You miss me before five. <laughs> before <laughs> half past five. But let's move on. But no, when? How? A lot of times. People are like, hello, what are you doing at this time? I'm like, like before five to you, go to work On a daily day, man, I'm going to go to work like you would just like what is the one place in the world that you would like to most visit? I need to ask that about you, you about that. You about me, you about you. What you get? What where do you wanna go, friend? Greece? Oh somewhere romantic, kinda you are everything from <laughs> Wait, what's the answer for you? Your first answer is like Really? Mm. Oh, so you're like mm, I really guys, can't can I tell you guys about soulmate, man? This baby girl. And my husband. He's so similar. It's crazy. Ah. But he's, 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 I only took that answer because Mpo's one is Greece. And he's you guys are so like, oh, Greece is beautiful. What? The white world, the black, the mystical world. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, no actually, like, the first, actually, actually, Greece, yes, it's great. Yeah. Then it's, then Venice. Like, Venice is, Venice is the city in Greece. Like, oh, 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 oh beautiful. Yeah. They go by Venice, friend. I think they're Venice. Venice is in Greece. Yeah. Yeah. Google it, but no, I'm actually going to Google that one. But I, in my mind, if I input Venice in my brain, it's a city in Greece. Yes. Venice is a city, it's not a country. Do you know? Yes. Also, yes. but we're not going to sit in the Um, when is anything island? I think. Let me 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 think. Let
Yes. Yeah, I'm not a really particular person, but I know the life that I want. Island. So, Island. Give me Bali. Think Thailand. Think in Mauritius. In Mauritius, because I've been in Mauritius. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's my favorite school subject. Guys, what that is, but I text. Yeah. Every man, so it is texting us. We're not talking about school subjects here. Um, where were you born? Oh, oh both of us just said that's boring. Eh? Yeah. Right on. What superpower would you want to have? Kanganda. Ah, uh, nah. Superpower. I think the superpower that you would want to have. The one thing you don't like is people who are full of nonsense. So, what superpower would make sure people don't have nonsense? Is it I think it's even people nonsense. Erasing the nonsense in people's minds for me, that's the superpower friend. This girl, I like it totally out of order. So, she would her superpower would be to put order into people's minds. <laughs> what else, friend? Like, I want them to do today. Yeah, I'm not also, I'm not your, I'm not, um, yeah, I'm not, I, I, I think you're not what I'm not as fussy as a lot of people. You're not, no, 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 wait, what, wait, what you're not, what you're not fussy, friend. No, I don't know, maybe fussy is a negative word, but you're not particular, friend. You've got that as we all do. But you are particular, and you're not as. You are almost used the word manageable, but you're not. She's not as agile as she thinks she is. She's not flexible. I'm extremely flexible. I'm adaptable. Guys, next time we're gonna do this video, we can talk about the fuckness. We're gonna tell the truth. I'm not saying you're rigid, never. Mind, but like you have a lot more. My man, you have a lot more boundaries than me. Like you, I also know what I want. I wanna say you know what you want. I also know what I want. But you are more like if you think about the orange and it's like orange, it's not orange. Which one, friend? Well, no, I said sunset. Different peaky. I'm a little bit like it has a shade of. You might. Right. Superpower how? Yeah, okay. Superpower. I guess maybe I think now, and this is very really like for the moment. Okay. Or for like now, being able to. I, I don't want to use the word manage, but mm-hmm. like being able to care and give more of yourself to more people. Yes. Definitely. Give me that. So maybe more time. I guess. But there'll never be enough time. There'll mm-hmm. never be enough energy. There'll never yeah. be enough capacity. So, capacity. Yeah. so I guess if this is like this is now me thinking now. Take me everywhere at the same time to more people. That's it. Okay, the next one I'm gonna just like what can you what can you cook? Or what's your favorite food? Her favorite food, guys. Ah, ah, like, hey, hey, ah, 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 can make eggs. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> that is all this girl can make. Is that all, man? Wait, but I used to make. make no, eggs. but I used to. I used to make food for the boys. How about banana? How popular that food? Yeah, yeah. Well, you just yeah. Doesn't count. Okay, I count. It's for kings, isn't it? I buy the equipment that makes it. I can't wait, Peter. Then you put one of those nice set nut things. Boiling water. When they soft, cinnamon. I prepared that cup to be that thing. That's okay. Okay. She's mocking me. What's your favorite food? Give me pop, my friend. Okay. Give me pop anything. Pop, bring me pop, cabbage, pop, pop, pop. This side, rice. Rice! Friend, like one of those small pieces of grain that you must chew. My favorite food is rice. My friend, then you're hungry in an hour again. I love rice. No. I love okay. rice. It doesn't matter. Like, I love rice. It, I love rice. No. I love that rice. Plain. That is curry. Just comment there. Comment there. Pop or rice? What? Friends, I'm rice because now you're hungry again in two minutes. I don't know. Guys, friend, I'm gonna pop out Whenever there's something, I always choose rice. Whenever there's a side, a choice of a side, I always choose rice. Rice is amazing. Rice is very weird. But once you've eaten, you want to deal it. Usuti, you're going around with your day friend. Now rice, how do you get But in rice, in any more variety, you can do deal with anything other rice. What can't you do with pop? Pop is just pop, like it's pop to pop. Like. I'm not a pop and I agree. In any context, I'm not a In any context, I'm not a pop. And then because we ate, we grew up eating pop. Because pop is six days a week and then rice is not a pop. I'm not a pop. You need a little luxury. Aye. Yeah. 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 Never again, I'm not going back. Your once, <laughs> twice, three times a lady. No, but you can do that thing. No, but you can do that thing. Uh-uh. Why is that not going to be the way you can do that thing? Inside. Just as a thing. problem. Anyway. So that you know you don't. I'm going to have a bad luck. But that's not my favorite. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, what, what profession would you most like to have? If you are happy with your career. What are you doing now? Okay. What's your profession now? Maybe we can do that. And then, but what profession would you most like to have? Okay. Can't we also have ourselves or? No, okay. Hey, we can answer ourselves. Yeah. Uh, Oh, nothing. Okay, I mean, 
Okay. My current profession is I'm a I'm working in the pharmaceutical industry, so I work as a pharmaceutical sales representative. Basically, I'm an informal, not informal, formal. I'm a drug dealer. I sell drugs to clinicians and doctors. Legally. Legally. Because I know that I'm going to TikTok and the drug is coming for me. Legally. And then what I really would love to do in an ideal world is anything with children. I suppose something as basic as Kobali Kretsch. Kobali, not even. I'm mm. sorry. You can see what I mean. The thing. If I could run a daycare or I'm just with children the entire day. And I think the, the ideal for me right now would be to be mesh, meshing the both worlds where I am a pediatrician. Yes. So I know anyone close to my heart knows Kobali. If I could study medicine right now and pursue being a pediatrician. And I might get a gift. Anyway, top 10. That's all. I don't know. I'm in marketing. Insight. See me. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell. Okay. <laughs> I'm in marketing. Um, I love, 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 love what I do. Um, I'm invested in what I do. Very. And yeah, if I wasn't doing marketing, what I'd pursue is the law. Yo! I come up 200% good color, guys. I just don't know, yeah. Like, yeah, you fight the fight, friend, though, hey? And yeah. then you don't fight like it's just not, not that you come with the case. Like, no, oh, oh, I'm going to say no. More? Yes. case. <laughs> she fights. Like, maybe we don't have the deep context of what law is, but I, I think you would kill it. Also, you're creative. Mm-hmm. Actually, you're a creative. And the truth is, apparently, what I heard about law and courts, friend, is that it's not about the truth, it's about what you can prove. Yes. So when you talk about what you can prove, you also talk about how are you packaging. Yes. Packaging what you're saying. All our low people come to you first. See here. Yeah. Tell us. What are you going to do to get this Oh, girl? guys, people are sending you to you. What are you saying? Yeah. Tell us. How do we get this girl inside? So, almost at the end. Yay. What is your favorite? No, favorite. If you could be an animal, what would you be? Ah, nuggets of a being cat. Guys, what black person called Dr. Cat? Who know you? She's always one of the. Oh, my goodness. Uh, cats ah. as a pet. So, one of the first few things I learned about her after I met her. Oh, Dr. Cat. People don't want to. They're so beautiful. They're so loving. They're so snuggly and fuzzy. Snuggly. Snuggle your, your, your partner. <laughs> Leave that cat. <laughs> but I think my little experience of cats outside of you know when our parents tell us, ooh, we know black cat, whatever. When like when I travel a lot, most times in hotels, oh, no, not hotels, guest houses. But I don't guys. Mm. They usually just land their bills and say, okay, not really, they'll come up to you, so if you say hi, they clean. They just land their own. Yeah. Dinja! Miss me on that one. Guys, it's only you talking to us having jack. My voice is so young. Never mind. 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 As a pet, we love, love. Oh, but wait, you guys have snakes. Yes. So well, they want to have you guys. Have not have you. I know not. What about mom? Never said it. They never would. Never said it. Only they wouldn't have them as pets. But the area in which my like my grandparents stayed, yeah, it was like very hilly, rocky. So we'd always not always. Oh, it's yeah. not always, but in the warmer months or hotter months, like what December, oh, sorry, January, yes. we would expect like okay. we would expect all. Like a snake or something. But there's one incident. Like, no. But the one that we had one incident during the, like when we were very young. So that was quite scary. But we did that like we didn't have them. But like now that obviously because we knew every area we were We were going to do the research and stuff. So we knew like you know now when they make a certain sound and whatever. Like from above. They actually oh, follow on the so And then lay kitty. You know, Mr. Kitty, but anyway. Kitty 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 on Cat pet. Yeah, it's very so it picked up over there's something in there and that's how we found the snake. So not from the night zone, but we lived in an area in I don't know if my sisters firstly I don't know if my sisters watch this video, but if they do friend, you know the one that takes behind of having a pet go high. And those cactus guys is cactus. We tried. Okay? We tried. Well no, because friend, that was like a ridiculous attempt. We had a dog, he was black, his name was Abla. Who chose that name? Gwen. Ah uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's horrible. I don't know, but friend, if you ask us, I don't know if you can people. I remember, I still remember the name. We all remember the name, friend, because Navy Black, Eli Nyana, I was small. I distinctly remember nothing more than two nights. Because on the third day, SPCA, you can fetch this living creature. I asked her, friend. Why? I asked her. I, I, it's just, it just didn't fit. Because now we're arguing who's going to clean up after it. It just, it was just like, why is this thing here? But that's me now. Because we 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 could want to break at the yeah. table. Guys, don't do this. Yeah. They want the way. Oh, now we start finding the living creature. I'm with you. Yeah. And a friend, SPCA say hi. No one was heartbroken. Not in Jersey. Came up with the name. Apla, guys. Just my family just reminds me that I can show friend. It could not have been me. 
anyone who means a lot to me guys you better know what my favorite animal is friend i'm gonna throw this back to you everyone knows what my one favorite animal is even my six-year-old son who's only been in the world for six years knows but i've only been for six years yeah so yeah, you Kali knows what my favorite your, animal i don't know friend i do not know this friend guys if she doesn't get this <laughs> in this vacation at cape town <laughs> i'm catching a flight for i'm born friend animal think about it think about okay your easiest bet Guys, this girl's not on socials anymore. Nikita, what animals do I post a lot? What's the one animal I've gone on holiday with and I've had an encounter with? Like, I paid to get an experience with that animal because Kirata, Kudu Kudu. I'm giving you clues. This video is not gonna end until she answers this question correct. I paid to see, to, to see it. To even experience and encounter it. Leon, eye to eye, face to face. Think about it, friend. My heart opened. Friend, think about it. It's not a giraffe. Just because I'm tall, you can eliminate that. It's not a giraffe. I'm going to say a giraffe. Gentle giant. An elephant. Aww. Guys, give me no, elephant. Oh, explain to the elephant. Friend, what took me on an elephant encounter when we went to... Nah, man, Greta. Hello. <laughs> elephant encounter when we went to the Kruger National Park. 20 months, I think when I was young. But it's a good one. I was not able to get the elephant. Nick is in the elephant. Then you need to research about me. Google me, baby. Elephants are so beautiful. Elephants are so beautiful. They're massive, ne? They're like gen they gentle, but they're giants. And uh, when you read history of the elephants, friend, they are very emotional creatures. Yes. They mourn when one of their own die. They really remind me of me. They feel so deeply when they take care of their young, like they. But give it to him. Yeah. Correct, don't mess with me, yeah. but the core of me, I'll feel when I need to feel. So, okay. Yeah, ask friend. Mm -hmm. Because you need to know, you better ask. Ah! You clearly don't have information about me. <laughs> you better ask. So what? What you say? What so, you experiencing. So friend, you know, okay, so there's different... Uh, you, like, feeding they, they, they call it the elephant feed. century, friend. Yes. elephant century, a hearties, there's three. I can't believe I'm going to go, hearties, Kruger, and then we went to, we were in the one in Kruger. And then people okay. surprised me with that. So, I actually, I've got videos. Guys, if you go Instagram, if you have time, maybe 2018. Go back. Hey, because Nike are post eh? But friend, honestly, you get to... It, yeah, and it's not a cheap thing. I think it's like two grand. But you feed it. It is. Then my name, la friend, you drive... You, not I drive. Beautiful. You walk around in the bushes. Nice. Oh, guys, that thing is a beautiful experience. And uh, the, the people, like the instructors, also yeah, do their time. Well. That girl is my girl. So, Rufel. Okay, okay. Girl, what do I want for my birthday? What's up, friend? I think I've come to accept, ne? Guys, now I'm big on experiences more than handbag, not faced, jewelry, not faced, lipstick, you've got a need to like it, um, the patch, oh, not faced. I don't put value on those yeah. things. I don't, yeah, yeah, and I need to work on the ooh, I read, I don't read, guys. I love reading. I don't read, I read the Bible. That's our only thing. Not because I'm holy, say, but that's the only thing I'm passionate about reading or I dedicated. Say that, so I can get lost, you know. Yeah, I know, I know. And you are also, you love spending time alone. I don't. Give me people, give me mood, give me experience anytime. So whether it means you're saying they are picnicking, even if we're going to a free park, if you're saying, friend, today, Hatamaya, they are picnicking, and I spend time with you, give me, give me, give me time, give me people. Give me experiences. Give me something new. I actually even tried sushi for the first time today because of her. Those are the things that I like. That yeah. So for me, if you know me and well, she loved it a lot, a lot. Me loves. So Bailey loves experiences that way. And then yeah, friend. I think we'll sum up the video. How would you like to be remembered? If someone were to ask you, okay, thank you, ma'am. How would you like to be remembered? What makes you who you are? How do you answer that? Wrap this up. Is it deep? Should I go first? Okay, 
They do though, because that's they what do, real life is about. Because, can, yes, yeah. it's not about like the superficial stuff yeah. and whatever. Yeah. But and it can never be one thing mm. that you got to remember to be remembered for. But I'd like to to be remembered as somebody who love Christ number one. Um, yes. Loved and dedicated her son to her family, like I love my family. Um, in the midst of so. You mean, like. Even as we are family, we are family. Like, like again inside. Um, <laughs> somebody who lived passionately, I'm big on that. Like, everything I do, mm. uh, I aim to do passionately. Yes. Like, I, for me, it's like do something with love and with passion and with vigor or don't do that all yeah so i'd love to me to be remembered for that like if like it can be a menial like task yeah but if how i want a meaning i want a joy i want a happiness in it then it's a yeah and whatever you do that is not done with love you can always feel so i always want mm -hmm. to do something yeah. with love with joy and by putting all my my effort into it, yeah. um, but also I think what what's significant for me is I'd like to be to be remembered not as offense as a whole, but as offense as as offense offense as a partner offense as a sister offense as a an aunt offense as a mm. daughter offense as a do you understand? Yeah. And because I play a different role. I don't change in any of those roles. I don't change the person that I am, yeah. but I change, like my serving changes yeah. in all those different areas. Yeah. So it's always so difficult to answer a question like that, but who, but being true, I guess, being remembered as someone who was true, um, I have the best relationship with my nephew and my children. And all oh my children. No. Oh, 99 out of 10 oh. my turn, happen to be boys late no um yeah, only one, i only have one, one daughter, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> one so, um and my relationship with all of them is consistent mm. you know because i do things with love mm. so i'd like and to intense. Yeah, yeah 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 quite intentional um that. yeah so i think that for me yeah, that's how I'd like to be remembered. Ooh, mm -hmm. let me put the Akira theory. It does like it's so deep. Like, like also like having, a like yeah, like having a long lasting impact. Yeah. Like uh, for me, my money papa. Yeah. You know, but I can still say now. Oh, you still talk about the most. Yes. Yeah, so my mama, like mama, um, impacted me this way and had this impact on me. Papa um, impacted now, this go. way and I can still see. You so yes that's true yeah and that's how you see long living impact mm. and i guess also we ask those to us who are still living so that we if if, if what deviates from that are you still living that if that's how you want to be yes. remembered yeah if also mm. like that you put the typical is it just not that's okay like you know, just, uh, man. i think for me guys just I'll speak to my anthid self. For me, I want to be remembered as someone who lived life outside of living it just for herself and her family. Family, not one, not obvious. If for sure, 100% they got me. But I think I, I, for the last few years, I really got into a point in my life where I was just like, surely there's more to life than Kupilalana and the people that I love. And I think the type of heart that I have made it easy for me to be like i just want to be remembered as a person who even if it's not made someone smile but made someone feel like they are worthy made someone feel like they're important to god first 
and that they matter rather that they matter you know um made someone i want to be remembered as someone who truly loves being a mother does it have its challenges guys 200 percent. but one of the things i feel god called me for on this earth is to be a mother but it's also a big like honor because mm -hmm. i understand that it's a big task for god to choose you not once but twice you know and someone who absolutely loved I think I am I'm, I'm I'm I love serving. I love giving more than receiving. That I can definitely confirm. I prefer giving than receiving. Is it bad to receive? No. But it my default is better giving. To give. It's always better it to give. There's even a scripture that says like that. giving fills overflows. Yeah. You feel like an overflow. Like it fills you up more mm. than yeah receiving does and it's so weird because obviously receiving is supposed to yeah um, yeah and you know i struggle with receiving like i i'm always like nah, i don't matter which is also not a but good thing right but that goes back to the point that impact like wanting to make like an impact guys is not only for like yeah having impact that matters and you can have a bad impact okay, for people, sure. like you bad taste in people's yeah. mouths or whatever. Sure. But always, it's not what you always aim for, but sometimes talking to somebody, like, yeah, I mean, today I struck up a conversation with that this <laughs> like, where, where, where? Oh, Carl, you go, and you watch one, you watch one, and okay, it's just, sir. yeah, and it was just, Sometimes you strike up a conversation because you feel like somebody doesn't feel like they belong or you see something okay. and you strike up a conversation because yeah. that's how it felt and then it spirals out and you're like oh okay this is a bit too much, yeah, really too much. but sometimes like that's the impact that I yeah. guess we're both talking yeah. about for it. Have an impact that matters guys, yeah. a positive impact on people. Always. It doesn't have like sometimes you feel like an impact you must have given away millions have done mm. whatever no sometimes just talking to somebody pass a compliment yeah. pass a compliment talk to somebody yeah. when somebody asks you something when they're unfamiliar and you answer them or you're you no yeah. yes you have no idea yeah. sometimes a person just wanted to be yeah you are making an impact because they feel like you're Absolutely. i've been carrying this the whole day yeah or i've been carrying this for yeah. a week and this person was just willing to, even if you don't give advice yeah somebody is waiting and you're listening you've made yeah. an impact yeah also small things guys overlooking but what i say but i want a daily yeah but what i say but i want a the environment we are in the spaces we find like that really 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 guys greet yeah. people like can you like, acknowledge people as human beings actually now this is a whole video mm -hmm. on its own yeah no every human being on this earth matters to god whether or not you want to disregard them or not, it's not up to you. Walk into a room, acknowledge people. Jumela, mm. hello everyone. You know. Who oh, about you? Maybe say, oh, I it's not up to like, you. I, I, like, I right? Number two, yeah. then stop like, uh, oh, when you walk into a room, you've decided, oh, this one is low. This one. Stop that. Everybody's a human being. Everybody matters. Everybody is here by God's purpose. And everybody matters to God. Why not? Who do you think you are? We're not saying like, ooh, carry this person on a pedestal. Acknowledge them as important as a human being on this earth, you know? But I think more than anything, that's really what I would love to be remembered for. Someone who lived their their life far beyond them themselves. For, for, for far beyond, I don't know, the English is escaping me, but I keep it a little you know? I, I don't think it's something I consciously do, but I, I'm, I'm thankful that it's the way i'm wired mm -hmm. also i don't take all the credit and that's why when you start living your true self find out who you are find out how god made you to be it's very easy to be you and sort of it also leads you into your purpose or your destiny as somebody very close to me likes to say be yourself like this person likes quoting this thing like okay not me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops. If it's not me, nice. it's, not, it's not me. <laughs> this person likes saying, this mm. very special person likes saying, horror. Like they've read it somewhere or they've read it somewhere. Mm. And he likes saying, 
Be yourself. Everybody else is taken. But be your true authentic self. Everybody else Let's is stop stuck out. Stop trying to be stuck stuck out. and offend me. Uh, man. The world you? needs offense as much as it needs me. If Nike is square, needs you, if I'm a square, yes, and you're a triangle, we you need the triangle it. to be a triangle, the square yes. to be square. Everybody else be taken. Next step on, together we are. Yes. So yeah. So I think we're gonna end it here. Funny enough, we still learn stuff about ourselves. It was, I also think it was just the insight thing and into my world into the world of you know a lot of people getting to know me but also understanding that the me that i am is not just i'm not linear you know there's other parts to my world she's one of the people who are like part of my world and we hope I you guys learned oh, like yeah. 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 it's okay if i fag she fag that's all we are here today and it's working yeah, when God okay. decides we are going to learn <laughs> and we are going together. <laughs> but thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for getting out of your comfort zone. Coming into my world. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.